An Everett-based company just finished building a submarine that they'll take to the Titanic this summer. It's going to be amazing. It's part of a project to survey the wreckage of the ship. Como's Gabe Cohen got an up-close look today. He has more. Pat, how long would it take you to take these off? Our deep dive starts at sea level in the Ocean Gate workshop. Cutting, cutting this a little bit. Where the team is putting the final touches on Titan, their most advanced submersible yet. It brings a tear to my eye. That's Director of Engineering Tony Nissen. It's a lot of pain to get here. <laughs> So it was a lot of pain to get here. We did this extremely fast. Their goal was to build a vessel that can dive 3,800 meters for a mission to the Titanic. Titan is headed there in June. It can dive 4,000 meters thanks in part to its carbon fiber structure. The strength, weight, and buoyancy that we get out of it exceeds really any other material out there. Tony says this frame will feel about 150 million pounds of pressure near the ocean floor, but the team inside won't feel a thing. A team of five will squeeze into Titan for each dive and view the wreckage on these monitors. To fly the vessel, the pilot uses a PlayStation controller. Over six weeks of dives, laser scanners and high-def cameras will map the Titanic and its decay over the past century. It's part of a larger project to study the effects of shipwrecks on our oceans. And this is critically important when you realize that there are tens of thousands of shipwrecks from World War II, many of which sank with uh, toxic chemicals and fuel oil on board. The final pieces will be put on Titan this week. Then practice dives begin as they count down to their big descent. Very excited. In Everett, Gabe Cohen, Como News. Okay, that is pretty cool. Ocean Gate plans to survey the Titanic every year moving forward. They're also bringing 54 paying civilians along, and they hope to increase awareness of ocean exploration.